As the senior most person here and representing government, I want to bring the condolences of all, the whole government, led by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, Yoweli, General Yoweli Kaguta Museven, and all members of uh, cabinet, to the family, to everybody who has known the late Kasiri Gwanga in one way or another, at this loss. Chanaku, Tenjegene Vedewo, Gatuli Mutsera Chine Chizibu, Fena, Etufana Nyangabu, Etufana Na, Atutu Nurira Mubu Kokoro. Otherwise, we would have seen what Kasiri is and what he has made it to be in this country. I know that cabinet would have been here in heavy representation, but again, because of these limitations. Siria Gwanga has worked as a military officer, and he has not let that down. He has not let the officer go down. He has been, and he has made a good account of himself and even the officer corps of the army. Kassirie never, he has not used the military. Or even his positions you have heard, he was a, a director of barracks from 1986 to 94. For eight years, you would have expected him to have got so many properties which belonged to the army then. Or even had the big mansion here, that was not him. <laughs> Norwecho, ma awan, Charles, wali wanona ya jia kugenda wali, wango na abadali staff uwe. After the burial, the chief guest and his entourage will go for a tree planting in remembrance of the fallen general. And that tree is going to be put behind the tent. Wana ye mwuzi kilize waliwo mwurenzi Wewa ita Yasini Yasini inga ya wate driver wo mwurenzi Yasini oliwa Mwurecho Now there goes the casket uh, being laid finally into uh, Kasiri Gwanga's uh, final resting place here in Nkene, Musuju Uh, to be sure that uh, Kasiri Gwanga has uh, been sent off honorably, honored uh, for the man who he was, and um, for everything as uh, it, it, it's continued to happen. 